So the United States faces many challenges right now, starting with uh, the jobs crisis, and, and Washington seems completely polarized, uh, divided by partisanship and divided by ideological differences. When we look out, however, to the states, the cities, the metropolitan areas, what we see is the rise of a pragmatic caucus. Elected leaders like mayors and county executives and governors, university presidents, heads of business associations, heads of philanthropies. These are individuals who are waking up every day and are part of what uh, Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter calls the get stuff done party. They're putting partisanship aside and they're creating really interesting solutions to grow their economies, create jobs, retool their economies at a time when Washington just seems stuck in first gear. Now at a time of a jobs crisis and a jobs deficit, we're barely out of this recession. We lost 8.8 .8 million jobs during this recession. We've barely regained the jobs we've lost. What these leaders are doing are looking at their own cities and metros and states and saying, what are we good at? What's our distinctive position in the global economy? What's our competitive asset, our competitive advantage? And how do we strengthen our strengths? How do we build on what makes us special? And they're doing that across the board with regard to manufacturing, with regard to the burgeoning clean economy, with regard to their innovative sectors, and yes, with regard to exports. They're beginning to trade more with the rising nations and frankly the rising cities of the world. So new ideas, new policies, pragmatic efforts across different disciplines, across jurisdictions, and across party coming up from below. I think the impact is, is really twofold. First, ideas for growth. So if you want to find the policy ideas for job creation in the near term or economic restructuring in the long haul, go look at the states and cities. These are the places that are creating export strategies uh, to get their, particularly their small and medium-sized entrepreneurs, uh, ready, able, willing to export to rising nations like China, India, Brazil. These are places that are making smart investments in infrastructure, whether with regard to energy distribution, uh, the new electric vehicle infrastructure like in San Diego, or with regard to infrastructure, transit, yes, but also the modernization of our ports. Uh, these are places that are literally growing innovation districts around their universities, uh, around Wayne State, uh, for example, and the Henry Ford Medical Center in Midtown Detroit. There's an enormous amount of smart economic shaping and placemaking going on at the city, metro, and state scale. This, I think, is really important uh, for our federal division, is that there's a new way of operating. Uh, Governor Hickenlooper of Colorado says uh, the new mantra should be collaborate to compete. Let's put aside the traditional divisions uh, that have kept jurisdictions from working together or different parts of the governing class in cities and metros from working together. And let's sit down, create a plan and a strategy that builds on our own distinctive assets and then pull in the same direction. Uh, not exactly what's going on in Washington today, but very much what's happening at the city level, at the metro scale, and I think in a growing number of states.